All right, what's going on? It's Bobby Skinner talking Giants, and this is your Week 14 Giants offensive line report. Uh, getting to do a couple segments. We're going to start with Andrew Thomas. We're going to talk about Tyree Phillips for, for Sean Gary. Like, basically shut him out of this game. Uh, some good stuff. Hope you guys are enjoying these. I know it's late in the season. Uh, please like and subscribe. I'm trying to grow the subscribers on this channel despite the fact that it's losing season. So this uh, liking and subscribing really helps with this. So let's get into it. As you know what, it's not a losing season. We're going to make the damn playoffs. Uh, with Andrew Thomas, right? We're not going to go through the same old, same old with him. Uh, but just some like cool stuff from him and then a little bit of the same old, same old. But some struggling in the run, too. But this was my favorite play from him in the game. It just like shows Thomas like just one, the ability to react, his recovery ability, his foot speed, his football IQ, all in one, right? So Lucas Van Ness, maybe not having the success that he necessarily wants as a rookie. So we're gonna work games, right? All right, we're gonna work stunts. No, we're gonna fake stunts, right? We we're gonna fake stunts to try and get sacks, right? Because you know we don't really trust our hands. And our bend and our power versus number 78, Andrew Thomas. Guy's an all-pro. I get it. But Thomas, it just, again, to me, shows off everything with Thomas, right? So, one, you are setting towards him. And I know the camera work sucks on this one. Freaking, get it straight. One step, second step, right? And you're reading what he's doing. You get to that third step. He's working inside. You don't go too early. But you do have to pass this off, right? So you go, hey, I got to help Pew. I got to push Pew off of this to get the stunt. But while keeping eyes on the rusher. Well, guess what? The rusher was faking the stunt. He's going to pop back outside. Or maybe he wasn't even faking the stunt. He just saw that it wasn't going to be there. So Thomas is able to peel off, hinge off. Fast feet. Get a hand, high hand, low hand, on, high hand on the chest, low hand on, on his hip. And wash him around the corner. At 11, 12 yards of depth. Just good shit. And then next, just on a stunt, right? On this flea flicker. You got to hold up for this on a while. Great catch by Wando. But just, we're going to set. We got a wide rusher, so we got to get out there quick, right? We're here to set. And it's just showing, hey, he's showing that stunt. We're immediately passing it off, right? We immediately turn our head. Feet horizontal with the line of scrimmage. Get hands. Extend. Keep your feet moving. Reload your hands. Just working it. Good stuff. And then some of your normal pass protection. Versus Van Ness. Bat, bat, bat. Working that circle punch. Inviting the bull rush. And Van Ness is a powerful dude. Like, that's what he's known for at Command of Iowa, was the power. Right? Like, I did a video of him on Paris Johnson, and you see the power in his game. So, Van Ness, that's what he wants to work, right? Like, a lot of guys, Thomas is inviting the bull rush, and pass rushers don't want a bull. Van Ness is not that. And Thomas is just able to stonewall him while inviting him to land hands on him. Next play, verse 91. Just dominant. Again, the feet. Bat, bat, bat. Keep your feet moving. Working with him. We pull that left hand, right? Like he's going to... He, like he, When the defensive... Then when the at rush pulls his hand to chop, Thomas pulls his hand, re replaces it. Keep your feet moving. Dominant rep. Uh, and this is where the issues were. The run game, right? And it wasn't so bad, but you saw this a few times. Where he's just not able to finish these blocks, right? Where he was able to... When he's healthy, right? Not dealing with his knee. He's able to just drive power and torque these guys out, right? And stay on this block. And you see, like, hey, we're getting to this block. But we don't have the, the power from our lower body to torque this out and stay on it. And they're able to disengage. You're going to see it again on this next play. Right? And we're getting momentum, right? We're taking our bucket step. And we're 
we're trying to generate power. And again, you're doing a solid job on this. But this is working upper body, you know, working your upper body strength. The strength isn't really driving from the uh, from the lower body in this. And he's able to dump you. Help get in on the tackle. But overall, good game from Andrew Thomas. You know, nothing super flashy, but I wanted to uh, show the stunt and some other stuff. All right, and I want to finish up with Tyree Phillips on this one. I think I might do a John Michael Schmidt segment. Uh, just put it out later on the Breakdown channel. Because uh, I, I want to get this over to editors. And you know what? I, I don't feel like working that late. I'm, I'm being real with you guys. But we all, but I wanted to talk about Tyree Phillips in this game. I mean, he stonewalled Rashawn Gary in the pass protection game. Like, like basically shut him down, which is kind of crazy, right? And like the one win that Gary has we're going to talk on this and actually late leads to a Giants touchdown because he was undisciplined uh in his rush lane so let's get into it Rash uh Tyree Phillips stonewalling Rashawn Gary like, like which is crazy it's like you know you didn't hear Rashawn Gary's name much but you're like okay but let's go watch the film right surely they are doubling him and obviously he got some of those now, Phillips just handled him and let's start with this first rep I mean, just stonewalls him, right? Like, that's a fucking punch. Right? We got good feet. I've just noticed with Tyree, since coming back from the Eagles, working with Jeff Stoughton, he's just got way better posture. Right? His feet are working better. They're, I mean, his feet are like, look, quick, quick feet, right? Obviously, they're not Andrew Thomas. But quick feet, good balance, good posture. And you land that punch, bam. I mean, just stonewalls him. Stops his ass in his fucking tracks. Like, that's good. That's that's how you teach, you know, the two-handed punch, right? Like, that's what... And I, I don't love the two-handed punch, right? But that's how you want to do it. Right? We're not... We're not overextending. We're not lunging. We're just packing power. Good stuff. Giants get a bogus pass interference call. Next play. Again, this, and this is all against Rashawn Gary. First step, second step, now we're reading, right? Make Gary declare outside. Gary goes to generate, uh, you know, power bull. Tyree's able to get hands on him. Anchor down. Again, watch him go to this hop step. Watch him gather. Both feet in the air. Re-anchor. Ball ends up coming out. Next play. I mean, this is fun ball. This is like this is fun football right here for the for Tyree Phillips. We want we want to make him commit to the outside, right? And similar to that last play, like Gary is landing hands first. You bring your hands, just able to stop him though, absor absorb that, right? And Gary goes to pull out that jersey and rip Tyree. Pulls his shoulders back, reloads the hands, right? All these hand moves, cool. He wants to work back inside. Let's walk, let's move our left foot, bam. Let's work with him. He wants to spin back out, play the piano on his back. Duvito gets out here. Hyatt makes a guy miss. Whoop! Not a first down though. Not a first down. That's kind of crazy, right? Next play. Again, was just able to absorb Rashawn Gary's power. And I know Gary ends up getting a hit on this, but that's up the pocket. And we're going one, two. Just able to absorb that power. He's got his hands inside. Now, obviously, you want to be able to at this point, like kind of power down to him, and, and Gary does get that hand inside and able to shift his weight outside and work back inside. But like that being the one pressure hit you gave up, like you live with that all day long. 
here on this next play, like Gary's going to rip. Just keep your feet moving, right? Keep your feet moving and wash them around the pocket. Like Gary gets to a good angle here and goes to this rip. But it doesn't get, like, Tyree Phillips able to play balance. Doesn't lose his balance, right? Like, with Neil, at this point, if you get, if you got at this point and ripped, Neil is, like, he's getting on balance. His head's falling forward. His feet are flailing behind him. And, you know, this ends up being a sack or whatever. Right? So, this isn't a, nearly, this isn't a perfect rep, but this is good recovery. Keep your feet moving. Right? Don't lose your balance. Keep your feet moving. Keep your hands on them. Go. Right? So, yeah. Not a good start. But, again, keep your feet moving. Wash them around the pocket. Allow Tommy DeVito to step up. And then here where it's like that he got, quote, unquote, beat inside. But, Rashawn Gary gives up contain. And that allows DeVito to scramble outside the pocket and hit Isaiah Hodgins on a beautiful throw. Um, But, again, this isn't even the worst. Like, right? We're quick setting. We got our hands on him, right? That's what you're getting aggressive with it. You know, quick. One, two, three, bam. We're out here. We're quick setting. He works back inside. Like, I like the footwork. You just got to keep your, you know, feet got to be a little quicker on this. But again, it gives up the rush lane. Or, or you know, gives up, gives up the edge. And DeVito's dropping dimes in the corner of the end zone and Isaiah Hodgins. And we're taking this cop out. Not cool, man. He 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 held, he held strong though. So I hope you guys enjoyed the offensive line report. Let me know if you guys are like really interested in a JMS breakdown. Because uh I mean, you know, maybe you could put it on the on the other channel. Uh but like I said, I, I'm not trying to work till 1 30 in the morning and I got this film late uh because the Giants played on Monday night football, so appreciate you guys uh maybe we'll see on the talking giants uh breakdown channel um and I'll, I'll post that if i do it if if not say i'm gonna do it if i do it appreciate you guys let's go big blue